you got to check this out. A new boat tour at Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. That's a mouthful, <laughs> but they're an awesome, awesome organization. Yeah, they are. It allows you to explore the Indian River Lagoon using state-of-the-art technology. Oh, I'm working on a story with them right now. Okay. It's going to air in a couple of days. So this one today, though, it's essentially a floating lab. Captain T.A. Walker, who's appointed himself captain, shining a light not only on the tour, but the important water quality and marine life data that they're collecting here. T.A.? Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, we're on a pontoon boat here in uh, Fort Pierce. Dr. Gabby is here. How did this all come about? Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to FAU's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute and our Discovery Floating Laboratory. So our mission is to do amazing marine science and through our public education programs, we share it with a variety of audiences. And this is our opportunity to take you out on the Indian River Lagoon and spend a day as a scientist. But you guys are really getting into our underserved communities, inviting the Boys and Girls Club to come on board and have a tour. Yeah, exactly. So we want everyone to go out and explore the lagoon from us and be inspired to become a marine scientist or or help protect our oceans and so this summer uh, we've had members of the boys and girls club coming out with us um, every day of the week to learn um, about the lagoon thank you so much laura now when they get out in the lagoon they do things like uh, drones yes so like gabby said this is a floating field lab and we had to turn this pontoon boat into something that was equipped to do science on so to do that we had to install 14 marine grade um, weatherproof waterproof screens um, if you can Bob, you can show them. Yeah. Um, these are sunlight readable, so even in the middle of the summer with your sunglasses on, you can still see everything that's happening on these screens. Um, so no, no matter where you have a seat on the boat, you're able to have um, a great experience. And then one of the things that we can stream to these screens is footage from our um, underwater robotic vehicle. So this is one of them. Um, her name is Gladys. Um, <laughs> this is a small... Um, a small vehicle, uh, but you can see that she has a camera and headlights, and this camera streams everything. Looks like Johnny Five. Remember the movie Short Circuit? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, this is symbol Johnny Five. <laughs> <laughs> so um, everything that she's seeing underwater, you can see right here in front of your seat. So this All is right. really amazing for those kids who've never seen seagrass or fish before. Or even been on a boat before. That's true. All right. I want to bring in Sam. Sam, you Hi. have the cool job of giving the tours. I do. And you are showing people that the seagrass is actually healthy, healthy up here. There's plenty of it. Yeah, we have some really great seagrass habitat right up here and that ROV that Laura was just showing is one that we put right in the water and we stream that footage live. So typically when you go on a boat, you're looking around on the surface and in the sky, but it's not very often that you actually get to take a peek underwater. And so we can use this iPad that's actually going to be connected to the ROV and we stream all of that footage live. So we can go through and actually oh, put photos right up onto the screen. And we showcase some of the seagrass too. And we even have photos of the different native plants like mangroves, mangroves. that we can find throughout the lagoon. How it's a, a nursery shark. habitat for small animals like sharks and fish. And we even showcase plankton on all these screens because we do plankton toes. This is toes. so cool. Yeah, we, we showcase all of the cool tools and technology right here on this boat. Thank you so much. And you can yeah. sign up on their website. Now, Mike and Ashley, the sun is going to come up this morning at 631. Civil Twilight is at uh, 601. And Captain uh, David is going to take us out. I'll have to relinquish my hat when he gets on board <laughs> and hand it off to him. We're going to go out and we're going to show you what it's like to be out on the lagoon. It's like once a week now, TA's borrowing a captain's hat. Yeah. You might want to get your own TA. I feel like this should be part of your indoctrination into South Florida. Like, ride on this, yeah. get to know the waterways, respect them, come back and have a better appreciation. We have a lot of newbies in South Florida over the last, you know, year or so. So, good plan. TA, thank you. All if right, it's something you'd like to see us shine a light on, reach out. Send an email, shiningalightwptv.com. Do you feel like you need to salute or something? Like attention on deck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Captain T.A. Skipper there. <laughs>